All right, welcome back. This is our second video in the installments on systems of equations. Uh, a reminder, a system of equations is a set of equations that constrain solutions. Now, the reason we often want to figure out what constraints are uh, and make a system of equations so we can figure out what possible solutions there are um, is that it helps us to make wiser choices um, particularly in business, every day thousands of problems like this one, only more sophisticated, are being done. And they're being done because getting the right solution saves a lot of money or helps you to make more money um, as a business. And so even though this particular problem is about hats and scarves and yarn on a small scale and, and probably someone like Kalen isn't going to do this, every day, there are businesses that do problems like this only more sophisticated every day because it saves them or makes them hundreds of thousands, millions potentially, of dollars. So um, we're going to start by looking at some simple things so that as you go along, you will become equipped to become that person that's making a bunch of money by solving problems like this, possibly. So. Um, Let's, let's figure this out. We have uh, Kaylin. She has some yarn to make hats and scarves. She uses two-tenths of a kilogram of yarn to make one hat and one-tenth of a kilogram to make one scarf. She wants to make three times as many scarves as hats and use five kilograms of yarn to do it. So uh, they gave us quite a bit of information in that little paragraph and they tell us write a system of equations to represent the situation. All right, so again, a system of equations is constraints, equations that represent the situation. So in this case, we need to have some variables. We're making hats and scarves. We don't know how many of them. That's probably what Kalen is gonna end up finding out using this system of equations. So we need to define our variables. Uh, we'll use H and we'll call H the number of hats, and we'll call S the number of scarves. You could use any variable you want, but it's pretty typical to use the first letter uh, of whatever it is you're talking about. So, okay, hats and scarves, um, it says, that it takes 0.1 kilogram of yarn to make a scarf, okay? So we have 0 0.1 times S, the number of scarves. So uh, yarn per scarf times scarves, yarn per scarf times scarf, number of scarves, whole scarves. Well, the scarves cancel and that gives me yarn, okay? So this expression right here represents uh, the yarn used for scarves, yarn in scarves. Now, she's also going to make hats and she's going to make hats. That is, we're going to add the yarn in the scarves to the yarn in the hats, and that'll be the total amount of yarn, right? So plus the yarn in hats equals the total yarn. And it is really helpful to write in words what it is you're doing because there's a bunch of numbers in here and you could do all kinds of things with those numbers, but they wouldn't necessarily represent this situation, the context, okay? So does it make sense that we're adding yarn used to make scarves with the yarn used to make hats? And that will be all of the yarn we use. Yes, it does. So that's what we're gonna do in our equation. Uh, the yarn in the hats, well, that's 0.2 kilograms of yarn Per hat. And in this case, it would have been yarn per hat times hats 
whole hats, right? Hats over one is whole hats. Hats would cancel and we'd just get yarn. So it makes sense in the end that we have uh, the total amount of yarn. Well, what is the total amount of yarn? They told us right there that she wants to use five kilograms of yarn. So this is our total amount of yarn. And here is one of the equations in our system of equations. Now, if you notice, it includes both of our variables, hats and scarves. It includes three of the numbers that they gave us, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 5. You'll notice there's a 3 here. That means there's some more information, uh, and we need to make that information into an equation. She wants to make three times as many scarves as hats. Three times as many scarves as hats. So we, we need to write an equation that represents that. Now, uh, if she made one hat, she would have to make three scarves for it to be three times as many, right? Uh, so let's, just as an example, let's do that. Let's say she's, she does one hat, then she would have to make three scarves. One hat for every three scarves. If she makes two hats, she would have to make three times as many scarves. That'd be six scarves. Okay, so what are we doing to the number of hats to get the number of scarves? In general, we have a number of scarves equaling three times as many hats. Three times as many hats. Three times H equals S. And here is our second uh, equation. I'll write it up here so we can have our system nice and neat. We've got 3H equals S as one of our constraints, and the other is here. You can show that this is a system of equation. This is just mathy notation by putting these curly braces on, on the left, and that shows you that these two equations belong to the same situation or the same context. They are constraints on the same variables. Uh, and that would be how we would take given information and write a system of equations. See you next time.